about six weeks ago. And now Mickelson waiting for some of those folks to settle in left of that first fairway. That's no easy starting hole. 448 yards. Back into the wind. Yeah, I think it somebody? The, yeah, uh, I think it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of the folks who are tracking the stats. I was wondering uh, if it hit a tree or something as it uh, came bouncing back toward the golfers. So uh, I hit the folks uh, just in the left there at one fairway. Now Woods, as you see, tied for 27th place. He misses to the right. And there's a tree right there. Looks like he'll probably get a drop off the cart path. Bill, the third for Rocco at the par 412. You know, right at 120 yards. Goes through the ball nicely, doesn't he? He really does. You, you know, you talk about keeping the club and the arms and the upper body working together. Rocco does it about as well as anyone, Curtis, I think. You know, it's about 10 after 7 on the East Coast, but we have plenty more golf. Another two hours and 45 minutes. We'll be following the top three players in the world around as we continue. It's day two of the 108th United States Open in prime time. Um, I, I really thought when I walked away from the ball that it was get it back to the fairway, try to miss this left-hand bunker, and set yourself up for a third shot. Oh, remember, we saw him take utility into the thick rough at 12 yesterday. He only advanced it a, a yard or so. I don't understand this decision. Well, he got a lot of it, I'll tell you. Yeah, but look where it's going. In the other rough. That's where the discipline and the acceptance of, of your mistakes comes into play. You have to put the next one in the fairway. This is where Tiger ended up as the ball came trundling down toward that tree. Well, I think he's got a very easy decision. He's going to stand on the cart path and play this ball. The drop would put him behind the tree. The ball is sitting um, on some nice, level, bare stuff. Um, it's actually quite a nice shot from 157 yards. Judy, can he make contact and swing without hitting that cart path? I believe he can. I, okay. I went over there. I stood right at the ball. And uh, uh, unless he does something someone not of his caliber would do, this should be fine. You know, I don't think he'll hit it on the downswing, but I think on the follow through, he could come very close. And you could actually hurt yourself. Nope, it's looked like on the downswing, it's a possibility. And he's checking out the wind, the wind I'm hurting and from the right. Yeah, you get you 50, 50 to 55. Yeah, be play. careful. It's an eight or a nine iron in his hand. I was just saying the spikes on the hard surface. You have to be careful not to slip. That keep would be legs. an issue, certainly. Yeah, keep your legs quiet. Good shot out to the right, trying to draw back towards the green. Gosh, that's the best shot he's hit all day. <laughs> he had to keep his legs and his feet really quiet. <laughs> That's the best shot he's hit all day. Uh, I kind of watch him walk there. That gate doesn't look the same. I, I know we're over watching that, but naturally, best player. Does he slip here as he comes down? Yep, right foot went out right there. And you see that uh, extra torque with a little slippage and already that discomfort in the left knee and watch as he walks away, definitely. Hell is that? Well, he's not perfect. We know that. 
I mean the knee is not perfect right now. It's not doesn't have the strength that it will in the future. He's still going through rehab. And back at the 10th hole for these players. The first on the golf course in Mickelson. Good lie in that uh, very first bit of rough. Tiger Woods noticeably limping up to the green. That group of two under where our current lead is. We're back at the first and Tiger for birdie. And within four of the lead. How about that birdie? Tiger! How about that birdie? Oh, 